just about set to go. And we go to the bottom of the first. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Way to go. And here it comes. Not shortstop. Jose. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. So here's Scherzer. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next one misses, ball two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Scherzer deals. Stays alive. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Got him. One away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though That's he strikes tough. out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. The one one. That one off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. That's towards center. Marte drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. Now it's Alex Bregman. The third baseman. Bregman hitting better against right-handers this year. So some reverse splits there. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Alex Bregman sends it out. The Astros strike first. It's 1-0. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and that through it. And it went a long way. Hitter. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. In there for strike one. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there on its way and out of here. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases. His 32nd of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 2-0. Back-to-back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in the lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here's Kyle Tucker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here in. of inning number two and stepping in for the Astros Yuli Gurriel the first baseman Yuli he swings and fouls one off Gurriel and he'll one that one misses and one and one Eric Summersgill our plate umpire 
One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Next offering upstairs. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Comes the 2 2. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Next one in the dirt. Lifted in the air, out to left. Mangum under it. Calls it in for the out. Nico Goodrum up here. The second baseman. Nico Goodrum. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And it's even up. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses, and it's two and two. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Foul ball there. Two two now. Swings and misses, and two away now. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Went Not deep again. in the ball game last night. Yeah. And first offering is fouled off. Riding to the plate. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Maldonado having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. First offering misses badly for ball one. One one now. And now one and two. And now two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty delivers. Stays alive. And fouled off. Here's a 2 2. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. Now Jose Altuve up Jose. to it here. Jose Altuve. Oh, 
Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact though. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh and 2 now. Well, we could see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. And they get out to Bay for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Michael Brantley up next for the Astros. Brantley. Line drive. And that gets down for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Here's Alex Bregman. Third baseman number two. Alex. Bregman. Fouled off. He was late. Brantley leads off first with two down to the inning. That one lifted to left. Mango under this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One left for Houston. Score remains. Back here at the ball. Back here at Minute Maid Park. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jordan Alvarez. And it's fouled away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. Next offering way off the plate. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now one away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes right it. Fielder. Pretty Number textbook 30. pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And there's the strike. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. On the ground, right side. Lindor collects. The throw to first. Already two gone here in the home four. Yuli Gurriel now, comes up to hit. Gurriel gets a piece. Bounce to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Two down, nobody on. Pulls that one foul. Swing and a ball popped up. Lindor on his way over. Tracks it down for the out. And that is... Here in Houston, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Astros, Nico Goodrum. The second baseman, Nico. First offering, and it just misses. There's the strike. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. McCormick. McCormick swings through it for strike one. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. Deal two. Outside corner got him looking. 
He can't believe it. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I the think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. At the belt and fires. Chopped left side. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. And it's off the bag. And now, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. A one down. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Ground ball left side could be two. Escobar toss the second, and that's two. All right, we go to the top. Welcome back. There we go, bottom six. Here we go. For the Astros, the left fielder, Michael Brantley. Scherzer back to work. In the air, center field. Nice grab on the run. One up, one down. Third base. And now it's field. Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Lindor on the first. And they get Bregman for the out. Now it's the Jordan man, Alvarez. 24. This guy has turned into a beast. Jordan. Alvarez. In there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is foul back. 0-2 now. Good eye right there. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Scherzer ahead one and two. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Astros go down. And welcome back. And now here is. Three, three, Seth Lugo on the pitch out of the pen here, trying to protect this lead. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. First pitch, and he just misses. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Bounced up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out.
Swing and a ball lifted to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. To second for Guillaume. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, next to the so digging in, the Nico Goodrum. Nico Goodrum. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And now the 0 1. And that one wrapped foul with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. And a pitch. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. McCormick, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. And the 0 1. And a foul ball. Guriel off the of first with two away. Hard ground ball, base stop. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The bat. The catcher. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. First pitch just misses. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Swing and a miss. One and two. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch. Back here at the ballpark. New arm out of the bullpen, right? So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. Leading up for the Astros. Not shortstop. Jose. Jose. And the pitch. And that one in the air center field. Marte on the move. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Brantley, the next to hit, takes ball one. Pitch misses inside, now 2-0. in for a strike two and two get a little frustrated with the strike zone fouled off to the right here's the two two that one misses full count three and two Next pitch is popped up. Alonso settles under it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Alex Bregman. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He'll touch them all. And we're all square. It's 3-3.
Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt. But unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better now swing. Your Don hitter. Alvarez, Don. the next to hit. And Alvarez. first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Joey Lucchese getting loose out there. Williams getting cranked up as well. Bounce back to the mound. Toss to Alonzo. And they get the out on Alvarez. And that ends the inning. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. We're back. It's the top of the night. We head to the bottom of the night. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Diaz back to work. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. That one missed. Left hand hitter waits. Out towards right center field. This one's got a chance. Go! Ball game! Kyle Tucker sends it out, and the Astros walk it off and win it 4-3. Fans are quite a line. Thank <laughs> you.